Hi everyone, it's me again. In this video, I would like to share with those of you that have been with us now for over 12 months a special gift, and that is my heaven sent quilt. So, this is entirely done in the hoop. Um, it does come in different sizes, so it fits a 5x7 hoop, the 200 by 200 hoop for the 11, and the 220 by 220 hoop for the 12 and the 15. So you could do it in any size you like. So there are five flower blocks in the quilt, and then the borders. So the borders are basically half square triangles, with the feather design in both directions. Some are half and half and some are um, white and white. But you could create any pattern that you like. Um, I did this as a special project. Um, we do sell this online. Um, it's about a $50 download, I think. But if you're watching this video, it means you've been with us in the um, studio for over a year now. So this is a gift we would like to give to you as a special thank you for being with us for 12 months. Now, just to show you the difference in the size, um, this one is quite um, bright in colors because it was going to be at a show. Whereas this is the smaller size block. So if you see this block, um, is done on the 15 in the 220 hoop, whereas this is done in the 5 by 7 size. So you can see the size is quite different. Um, these are probably not colours I would normally pick, whereas I do quite like this. So there were five fabrics in the flower blocks for this quilt, but in this one I only chose three. So I have a light pink and a dark pink, and then a green, and that same green in here, I used, whoops, sorry. I used in the half square triangle block. So you can see, you know, I suppose that's a good um, four inches or so difference on two sides in the size of that. So, as I said, they're the small blocks. And my plan was I would make this and just add more blocks, maybe do a different layout. But as I said, there's only the three colors in this, in this one. Now, included in your download is a workbook for those of you that would like to trace out the designs and applique that way, you could do that. For those of you that have a cutter, whether it be a brother cutter or the Janome cutter, the SVG files are there and the brother um, FCM files, which if you have the edge, you could open um, either one of those files to create the cut files. It is done so that you can trim in place so it will put the placement line down you'll put your fabric on top trim away and then continue on so you can do it whichever way you want to um, if you do pre-cut then you can skip that first um, not the first the second line in the applique but i've designed it for those that have cutters and those that don't have cutters so thank you for supporting us for the last 12 months I hope you've enjoyed the projects and um, it's my birthday this weekend so a present to all of you. Thanks. Bye.